Now let's discuss the effective spring constant of two springs connected in parallel. Suppose you have two springs connected in parallel like this. The spring 1 with the spring constant k1 connected to another spring with the spring constant k2 in parallel. Parallel means both the ends are connected to a common point. Here a common vertical road. Now if you extend this spring, the combination of spring with a horizontal force, that is, both the springs will get stretched. Clear. That is, if you apply a force F in the horizontal direction. Clear. And the extension produced here, see, this one is the extension. Clear. X. And the force on the first spring here, the force on the first spring will be F1 and the force on the second spring will be F2. First spring is having a spring constant K1 and the second spring a spring constant K2. Now we have total force F is equal to F1 plus F2 because the total F1 plus F2 will be the force applied. Clear. So F is equal to F1 is equal to, since extension on C, the extension on both the springs is the same. Clear, because this road remains straight. So F1 will be, if you apply Hooke's law, then F1 is equal to K1 times X. The extension produced is X. So K1 X plus in case of F2, it is K2 X. The extension remains the same k2x or you can write f is equal to x times k1 plus k2. Let's call that as equation number 2. Now if you replace this combination with a single string, let's say a k k p or, or let's say effective spring constant in parallel kp and if you extend this spring with the same force, say force F in the horizontal direction and let the extension produced is the same, that is X. So what you are basically doing is you are basically removing these two springs and replacing it with a, another spring having same effect. Clear. Both this spring is extending it to an extension of x. Here also you are doing the same. So here when you apply the Hooke's law here its spring constant is kp. We have fp is equal to kp into extension is x. So the effect of these two springs is replaced by this single spring. Let's call that as equation number 3. Both the equations are the same. They both tell about the amount of force. So you can equate that kp into x is equal to x times k1 plus k2. You can cancel this x so that effective combination k or effective spring constant of the combination is equal to k1 plus k2.